Now, first of all, dude, I have never seen anywhere written that you have to call an African American a so called African American. My grandmother's grandmother was Indian. My other grandmother grandmother was a slave. So what am I? I am an American. And as an American, I want to disagree with your ass 915%. You come off like a racist because you're dropping the N-bomb. I don't give a fuck how many times you say nigger. Black people don't say nigger to each other. Even saying nigga is not nigger. You better search the word nigger up real quick. The word nigger means ignorant person. That's the label placed upon black people by white people. We were an ignorant group of people. What were we ignorant to was the queen, the queen's laws, the queen's rules, and we were ignorant to the fact that we lived and worked and and like the Native American Indians. We studied the ancient technologies. We charted maps and of the sky thousands of years before we even fucking even knew of white people what we were. So the advancements that some white people believe that they've given black folks have actually been setbacks. The ancient Sumerians were technologically way far more advanced than we are today in the year 2010. And there hasn't been an ancient Sumerian around here for what? 100,000 years? Weren't they supposed to be black? So let me tell you something as my voice escalates. There is no white versus black, black versus white. White people have been programmed to the point to where they believe wholeheartedly that they are the single most reason that the world is not in the dark ages. But you need to look at the world itself. If there has been maps of the galaxy, planets that we didn't see until the 50s and 60s, found in African caves where everybody had nothing but uh, uh, straws and, and, and leaves on for clothes and shit, who's fucking stupid? Which race is dumber? Those who embraced the ancient ways or those who destroyed the ancient ways. Technology itself was meant to make sure that all men lived in a happy, peaceful world. Who created war and hate and deceit? If you base everything on nowadays time, this will go back to one of your ancestors and not one of mine. You say you got lots of black friends? I got lots of white friends. Any of those white people? I mean, any of those black people live at your house? Any of those black people come stay and visit your family? Any of those white people, will black people will break their leg for your ass? Probably not. The way you say nigger, you say it so eloquently as if you was there when they strapped up the first cross to the ground. And then, like every other fake, every other wolf in sheep clothing, you want to pretend like you're not racist or that you, you have not had that racist in you. Every single race on this planet is racism. I mean, it has a, a bit of racism in them. You think these people like the English what the, for what the English have done to them? You think the Africans love the British? I mean, I mean, you think the North like the South? People have been placed in a divide and conquer mode since the beginning of time. Those who don't understand this have been lost to the wayside. And the dumbest people in my eyes today are those who've been fooled the worst. Those people who are out there who believe that they are the alpha and the omega and the best that the world is getting and they did everything for the world and the world has done nothing for them. Those people have been fooled the most. Because they're laying around by the thought that they control it all. By the feel that, you know, this is ours. But they fail to realize, like every vein is connected to another vein. 
connected to another part of the body, connected to muscle and tissue. And it all pumps through one heart. What you fail to realize, young man, is this. Your people are not in this by themselves. Your people did not do nothing. Period. What have they actually done to the world to make the world a better place for everybody? And not just those who can afford to make the rules to put their foot on your neck. In other words, you got the long hair and the beard, and if you use the N-word, they're just going to think you're a racist. No. You got the long hair, the beard, you're poor fucking white trash. You probably live in a fucking trailer sucking some other guy's dick on the down low. You're some scummy ass, cranked out white person. That is the label that your own people have placed upon you. See, you have to be a big man, a mighty powerful man to be considered a cracker. Ain't nobody black scared of you. Why? For what? They'll probably sell you a bag of weed and you'll be on your fucking way. You have to look at the big picture. Those people who have controlled you to the point to where you believe your people are better than another people are the ones that are actually controlling your ass. So you say, us black people have been here in America since we've been on the boat, blah, 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 blah. And I even told you at the beginning of the video what the fuck I am. I am an American. I'm not an African American. No, but I have met a white girl. She was from Africa. And she says, Whenever you guys get ready to go someplace, you say, I'm finna go. What does finna go mean? And so I have to break it down. See, when you barely know how to speak English, and it's 1841, you say, I'm fixing to go downtown, master, to go take care of the hay. You're fixing to go. As the course of time transpired, I'm finna go to the store. So whenever black people were together, she was like, oh, you guys talk so funny. We're all African Americans. No. I am an American. Each group of Americans speak differently. Not every white person speaks the Queen's English. And I do not speak in Ebonics. So what does that make me, since I don't speak Ebonically? But I might speak in rhyme. Am I a rapper each and every time? I'm tired of the stereotypical black people image because it's all poured off onto white people now. There are more white people I see in my lifetime that act so-called quote me unquote me black than the average so-called black person. Think about it. We live in a pop culture. These same people who taught us to be subservient to white people and always want to help them out are doing this through the media now. But like everything, it bleeds off onto their own people. Now poor white people are thrown to the wayside. They get no coverage, no nothing. They have to sit back and watch people benefit off what they have been taught was what they have put together. Their ancestors built all this. Why are these black people buying Cadillacs and why are these Mexicans doing all the menial labor jobs and we're not working? So please, there is no white people versus black people. There's classism versus all of us who don't have what those who can do whatever they want to do. We don't have what they have. We don't make a million dollars a year, and I'm pretty sure you don't either. So please, let's stop making it more racism here by doing videos, white people versus black people, when it's classism you need to be fighting. Don't fight somebody just as broke as you, just as poor as you, just as dumb as you, and just as smart as you. Fight those who put their foot on your neck, young white man. And it ain't me. I'm not holding you down. I'm not the reason why you look like you live in a trailer park. It looks like I'm doing some shit from some guy by his garage. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm the real AIX. And you've been too.